Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced In Car Technologies and today we're sat in a Volkswagen Transporter T5.1. We've very recently installed the Alpine Halo 9, replacing the old original unit that was in here before. Um, we are going to do a, a quick review video um, on a separate video, but this one is more to do with the new iOS 13. And the reason we're doing this is because the system has all changed with Apple. They've got a totally new interface. We just did a, a video recently for Volkswagens. So I thought, seeing as we fit a lot of Alpine equipment, CarPlay is quite important to people. Um, we're just gonna do a very quick run through of how it all looks, works and feels. And just, it doesn't matter what Alpine head unit you've got, this video is applicable to any Alpine system that has got CarPlay built into it from factory. So what we'll do is we'll just turn the vehicle on and uh, you'll see our custom splash screen that we always make up and put on this just to give it a, an OEM feel to the vehicle. So what you're gonna have to make sure you do is you're gonna have to have a iPhone that is running iOS 13 or newer to be able to get the new style CarPlay on there. So what you do is we've installed our USB in here so the phone can just nice and neatly disappear. You plug in your device as such it will come up in a few seconds saying, do you want to do CarPlay? There you go, there's the CarPlay symbol. And then we just go to the home screen. Sometimes it picks up automatically, sometimes it doesn't. So you can see it down here. We're gonna go straight into it and there we are. This is the new iOS 13 CarPlay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the settings and just very quickly change uh, the appearance. So this is what it will look like from when you do it. I like the dark mode because I think it looks quite cool um, but you do have the option to change it and I'll go through that in a second. So um, as before I'm, and, and as usual I'm not going to write war or talk war and peace about all the different functions of CarPlay. We all know how it works, we all know how it feels but I just wanted to show the difference of what we've now got. So um, from the home screen we've now got things like uh, side by side view so you've got your apple maps over here this map screen here is only for apple maps it might be released in the future as an update where you can use uh, google maps or ways but at the moment it's just apple maps likewise these settings over here for like extras food and shopping this randomly i've experienced it for a couple of days these change depending on where you are what you're doing and also this will show what you're playing as well Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to the settings. I'm going to turn it to always dark mode so that you can see what we're working with. And as you can see, you've got a few extra settings in there. Do not disturb, suggestions and album artwork. So, got a new button, got a new layout on a screen. And you can go back to the similar CarPlay apps that you're always used to just by tapping that or literally sliding, sliding across. And like I said, this is applicable to any Alpine head unit that is running uh, Apple CarPlay and you've got a phone plugged into it that's iOS 13. So first and foremost your maps um, it's pretty standard you can have it how you want 3D personally I like the darker view it's not showing me on this but this is how you can have it you can search using Siri or you can use a keypad um, so for instance advanced in car there you go and then give you our telephone number it will route you you can click go and all of that sort of stuff so we'll just come out of that because we don't need to go anywhere we'll come out of that as well go back to the home screen uh, messages likewise you tap your messages it will tell you what messages you're listening to and all that sort of stuff now playing we're not playing anything at the moment but this will show you your last app that you had in this instance it's Spotify um, and we can just go to uh, playlists let's have a look uh, just something this is our work phone Ed Sheeran, number six, collaborations, antisocial. We'll turn the volume down because I don't want the YouTubes uh, moaning about it. Um, and then if there is artwork available, which there is in this vehicle, um, you'll get, rather than just an image behind the text, you now get the album artwork cover, which is pretty cool. I really like that. Likewise, when you go to the home screen, you'll if you're on your map, you've got your controls here. You will also see the uh, album artwork which i really like and being this massive nine inch screen yes this is the halo 9 uh you're really making the most and the best usage of apple carplay it's really crisp really nice display okay so moving on um you can always get back to the main screen just by pushing the the alpine main menu screen 
podcasts and audiobooks. I don't think we've got anything set up on this phone to show you, but it's a little bit different to how it used to be, but it, it gives you the idea of how it's going to look on the new iOS 13 on an Alpine system. Uh, you've got a new thing, function in here, calendar, so if you've got appointments booked in or somewhere you've got to be, they will show up here and you'll get notifications as well. Uh, Google Maps, again, if you, if you really want Google Maps in your car and don't have it, this is an amazing way of being able to get it without having to pay for really expensive kit like you would do in um, like Audis and Volkswagens and stuff like that. Um, you can scro scroll in. You can do what you need to do. I really like this. You can also do things like traffic overlay. Uh, you can change the color scheme. Again, I like the day, uh, sorry, the night mode when you've not got the satellite on. So we'll change that back uh, to night and then we'll turn off satellite map. And there you go. Uh, but obviously you can have it automatic if you want. If you want traffic overlay, you literally just click that. We'll zoom out a little bit for some main roads, and there you go, the old Wareham Road there. You can see traffic's okay, a little bit slow here where it's going orange. So we'll come out of that. Um, the usual Siri in searching and adding destinations, uh, still applicable, still works exactly the same as before. It's just a new way of being able to display it, which is pretty cool. So we'll come back out. Um, Spotify, so we've gone over that. You can, you've got all your usuals in there. Uh, you've, if we keep going back, you've got your recently played, you can browse music, you can see what you're listening to most at the moment. It's a really nice, easy interface on this Alpine system. Tuning radio, um, this unit has digital radio, but if you don't have uh, digital, then tuning is a really, uh, really great app to be able to use. Um, it's not working because I need to unlock the phone, but it's a good way of getting dab into a vehicle. Likewise, if you like Radio 1 and Radio 1 Extra, the BBC Sounds app is pretty cool. You can also have Amazon Music on here and all that other stuff. Uh, Waze, again, this is one of my more favourite apps. Uh, you need to make sure it is open because sometimes it doesn't, you've got to activate it. Uh, so let's just go in here. It takes a couple of seconds because I haven't used it for a while. Waze would like to use Bluetooth, okay. And then it will start coming in in a second. There you go. So this is always happens the first instance whenever you use Waze just because it needs to load up and I don't really use Waze on this work uh, iPhone. So we'll give it a couple more seconds and there we go, straight into it. What I really do like about Waze is you've got this nice big uh, miles per hour uh, icon here which I think is really cool. You can zoom in. Um, Again, you've got live traffic coming through, which is quite cool. If you've got an account, you'll also see other people moving about. You can report things like police, accident, traffic, hazards, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, on this Alpine system, it's really cool. I really like Apple CarPlay, and this new release has really um, revamped the way that you can use it on in your vehicle. So if you've got an existing Alpine head unit with CarPlay and you upgrade to iOS 13, this is what you're gonna get. If you're thinking about upgrading to an Alpine head unit and want to see how CarPlay is working, then again, this is how it's gonna work. And like I mentioned, this video is um, gonna work with any Alpine head unit with CarPlay installed and it's showing, but you must have iOS 13. We probably will do a video with Android Auto because they, again, have changed their systems and they've updated, got a new updated user interface. So we'll try and find some time to film one of those when we get an Android device as we're all Apple, Apple, Apple here. Um, if you enjoy our Alpine videos or any of our other videos, then please make sure uh, you subscribe to the channel. Um, as the latest and newest generation Alpine equipment's coming through, we are going to be trying it out, doing videos, showing how it looks and all that sort of jazz. And as always, thanks for watching.